take me back to the place I know With the mystery shack and the forest gnomes I'm already back, so come on, let's go Don't get me started, my heart's in gravity falls Welcome to Mystery Shack Look Back A nostalgic time capsule And no spoiler book of the original Gravity Falls fandom We are your curators, I'm Charlie I'm Ella And Ella I love Gravity Falls, I just want to say that up front how much I love Gravity Falls. It's, what episode it's, of Gravity Falls great. are we talking about? Oh, Ella, we're done with episodes of Gravity Falls. What do you mean they're all good? What? Don't what? worry, Ella. Don't worry, wait, Ella. Wait, 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 see the next episode. <laughs> it was canceled. What? No one knew what happened to the Bill statue. Oh. Be- it was, you, two words, Ella. Alex tired. But, uh. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's fine, because there's a song that I like to sing that helps me out in times like these. <laughs> I mean, when I find myself in times of trouble, I don't know what to do. No, no, that's a different one. I was That's thinking, a different let it blank this, song. This little light of mine, Ella. I'm uh-huh. going to. Guess what we're talking about today? Oh, we're talking about Let It Shine. It's finally time! We've been foreshadowing this since episode two. I guess I will say this is the first episode titled Taurus Trapped. Uh, It was released uh, June 15th, 2012, airing immediately after the premiere of the Disney Channel original movie Let It Shine, which I have only heard of from Gravity Falls Wikipedia. We'll cover Let It Shine eventually. Don't worry, Let It Shine fans. (laughs) It will shine soon. Don't worry. Many people thought that was sarcasm. We've been over this before. We've never been sarcastic. Just how we talk sometimes. We have Lucius Spriggs disorder. LS did wait. <laughs> well, we have some of that too. Um, yeah, so it is a Gravity Falls related. We're going back just before the beginning of Gravity We're going, Falls. Yes, we've, we've covered all of Gravity Falls from the first episode, but what we didn't cover is what happened two hours prior. <laughs> Yeah, we counting we commercials. Happened, we did cover what happened a couple years prior to Gravity Falls with the uh, unaired pilot and off the wall, but we did not cover the immediate preface of Gravity Falls. And Ella, I think you know what? Can we say it? What's that? Fuck Weird Mageddon. Fuck Bill Cipher. This is our biggest podcast yet. Oh, obviously. And I think. Because it is such a shining moment for this podcast. It was unavoidable in the Gravity Falls fan. Like, if you're watching a commercial for Gravity Falls in 2012 for the premiere, it was going to mention Let It Shine. Stay tuned for a special preview of the new Disney Channel series, Gravity Falls, right after the movie. On Disney Channel. Let It Shine continues next. And stay tuned for a special preview of the new Disney Channel series, Gravity Falls, right after the movie. It's all right here on Disney Channel. (laughs) Stay tuned for a special preview of the new Disney Channel series, Gravity Falls. On Disney Channel. (laughs) So, because this is just the hugest moment this podcast, I mean, let's be real, like, right? I know. Yeah, I know. I know we've had a lot of, you know, big, yeah, I know we've had, you know, Rob Renzetti, Michael Rianda, Jason Ritter, it it, it pales in comparison. Well, that's, and and that's all one person at a time, um, and those were, you said, you used the word guests. What I'm thinking is... We cannot do this with at least two docents and maybe a Discord admin or a Patreon supporter. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think this is this is a big job. This is a big job. It's going to require a crew. So, Ella, call them down. All right. Mary McKeon, come on down. You're our docent for the Let It Shine episode. One of our docents, I mean. I'll come to you speaking words of wisdom. What 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 words might those be? Let it be, Ella. Let, let it, it be. no. That get out of here. That correct <laughs> answer was let it shine. Next, that doesn't we rhyme. have. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, next we have. Uh, next we have Ray, our, our docent from uh, Blendon's Game and Roadside Attraction. Hi. Yes, hello. <laughs> um, hi. What would you like to say to the folks at home? Um. Hi. <laughs> hi. Well said. Well said. And next, next we have Easy Snake Oven, the uh, d- uh, one of the Discord mods on the official Mr. Check Look Back Discord and Patreon supporter. I pay money for this. <laughs> you pay money to be our friend. <laughs> no, that's not true. You actually just are our friend. So, Snake, tell tell the listeners 
why they should um, join the Discord or the Patreon such as you have. <laughs> <laughs> wow, thank you. Uh, you can, uh, my PayPal is... <laughs> 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 okay, no, but seriously, I actually have a great time on the on the server. You guys are you guys are fun and such. Um, yeah. So if you want to have fun and such, uh, check out the the Pipe Dream page. We uh we hosted uh watch parties for our Patreon supporters. That, yeah. Um, well, Snake often hosts them. Yeah. And uh-huh. Snake is so funny during those that we were like, oh, we got we gotta get them on for something. I was like, oh, <laughs> not just something. Can't be something. Insignificant and small, it can't just like be any old, falls. Any dumb old Gravity Falls episode. It's gotta be. <laughs> it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Light hit shine. A 2012 musical film that premiered on June 15th, 2012 on Disney Channel prior to <laughs> the original premiere of Gravity Falls Tourist Trap. That's right. It In the United States, this episode aired following a new episode of Good Luck Charlie and was itself followed by the series premiere of Gravity Falls, right in between two massive premieres. And nebulously happened somewhere near the first Welcome to Night Vale going up on Libsyn. I I suppose so, yeah. That's a lot. (laughs) I know, it's a historic... It's it's interesting that it's like... It's like interviewing someone who, like, was watching the moon landing. (laughs) <laughs> like, not what was it like to land on the moon? What was it like to be, like, adjacent to the moon land? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you had only seen Let It Shine and had somehow never heard of Welcome to Night Vale or Gravity Falls, <laughs> that was what you did June 15th and all that you did June 15th. <laughs> right. Um, I actually have a game I would like to play with all of us before we get into I it. I love I games. I love games. I enjoy one from time to time. The game is... We each have to name a Disney Channel original movie, and uh, you can't repeat anyone that anyone else has said. First one who can't think of one loses. Uh, so, okay, I'll start. High School Musical two. Good choice. Good choice. I'm gonna I'm gonna do an Escape from Vault Disney here. Smart House. Uh, Luck of the Irish. The Thirteenth Year. Cloud Nine. I trust you. <laughs> No, I, I can vouch for that. That is a real movie. Descendants 2. Halloween Town 2. <laughs> Calabar's Revenge. Calabar's yeah, Revenge. Yeah, I was like, what was, whose revenge was that about? <laughs> that, the and, uh, and our uh, Michael and I believe David were on the Vault Disney for, no, I think just Michael William Hunter was on the Vault Disney for Calabar's Revenge. Halloween Town. I don't know the exact name, but it's like How to Train a Boy. It's Snake, I've, I've been giving you exclusively sequels, so you have so many lifelines. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of original ones, you know, ones that you, you wouldn't think of. Well, How to Train a Boy sounds horrific. <laughs> okay, um, we'll just go with, we, we have no way of, we have no reason to It's How to, to Build a you. Better Boy. It's How to oh, Build a Better Boy, you're that right. That only sounds marginally better. We have no judges, you could just make, stick it up, and we <laughs> have no reason to be like, what, no. Turtle with a live journal. Blorbo 2. Blorbo 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All like right. the Disney Channel original movie Disco Goat. You remember that one? All right, you know what? We 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 all win. We all win the game. Let's watch Wendy Wu Homecoming. Oh, no, we're watching Can of Worms. Let's watch Now You See It. Teen Beach movie. Let's watch Blorbo 2. <laughs> <laughs> Next up on Disney Channel, <laughs> the premiere of the Disney Channel original movie, Scrinkly Bingo, <laughs> followed by the world premiere of the new Disney Channel original series, Scrungus. Scrungus. <laughs> Camp Scrungus. <laughs> no, seriously, Sai, what's your deal, man? Because I know you got them dope rhymes in the notepad. It's different when I'm writing songs by myself. I can't do all that up on the stage and everyone's watching me. All you need to do is get your flow tight, get some new fat gear, hit the gym a little bit, and if you put some zit cream on that forehead, you will be straight, dude. His life was all about the music. I know I'm ready and able, but I'm stuck here busting all these tables. Seems as if Urkel thinks he's a pretty clever rapper. I'm disappointed. You will not set foot in that club again. But you understand, I'm a songwriter. Any rap is inappropriate as far as I'm concerned. But a chance at stardom. One amateur artist will get their song produced by my record label. I'm going to submit a song for the contest. Leads to a big misunderstanding. He's cute. Looks like we do have ourselves a winner. How's it feel to be rap's next superstar? He calls himself Truth. Truth. Who in the heck is Truth? That's me. I'm Truth. They made a mistake. No. You got to think of something, man. Please. She likes you because she thinks you're true so why don't we just keep letting her think that all of his dreams will come true 
for someone else. I had my part in this and now I'm starting to regret it. Listen, you need to chill out. Disney Channel presents. You just gotta speak up for yourself. You freeze up when it's time for you to get up on that stage and then you get tongue-tied when it comes to telling Roxy how you feel. It seems like we have more in common than Chris and I. Tyler James Williams, Trevor Jackson, Coco Jones, and Brandon Michael Smith. It's about the music, it's what I'm good at. Maybe it's time you turned on the mic. This summer, the truth is in the music. Let It Shine, the Disney Channel original movie, premieres Friday, June 15th at 8, 7 central on Disney Channel. The authentic experience is after the credits. Ah, summer break. So do you want cheese on that, hun? Sure, Hank. A time for leisure. Recreation. Yeah, that's... And then the podcast just loops back to episode one that, that <laughs> it never exactly, actually Exactly, exactly. So, and I um, need to let it shine. That is the dialogue that should immediately follow this because we just watched the premiere that Disney put before the first episode of Gravity Falls. I'm just let fine. it shine. It's, it's... Uh, everybody, how did you enjoy this movie? Or could you? Uh, it was okay. It was a serviceable movie. Uh, I thought it was serviceable. I don't know. It wasn't painful to watch. Uh, I'm not going to remember it tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I would agree. Yeah, that's basically I think, how I um, feel about it. It was. It, 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 it's fine. It's good. It's fine. It shined. It's it fine. Sh- it shined. I don't know if I would say it shined, but like as. The title said it. So. There's nothing in here that I would say is like harmful for a kid to see. So, you know. It's good. It's got good messages. I don't know any children who have watched it, so I can't say with definite certainty um, whether there's something children would like to see here. I don't know if they'd like it, but it also, I don't think it would be, you know, it wouldn't be bad for them. No, they've definitely shown worse things on the Disney Channel. But uh, this movie is actually um, not not an original idea. It is adapted from an 1897 work. By Edmund Rosta. Get out of here. Uh, yeah. What was it called, Charlie? It's a, you know what it was called. Tell me. Mary. Tell the audience. Cyrano de Bergerac. That sounds like Cyrus de Borge. The kids. That's right. The kid's name is Cyrus, just like Cyrano. Yes. Cyrano de Bergerac is a cadet uh, or a nobleman serving as a soldier in the French army. Basically, he um, uh, wants to meet a girl, but he has a big nose, but uh, a big heart. And so he helps his friend, um, what's the friend's name? Friend. Christian. So he helps his friend Christian uh, get the heart of, of the woman he loves, Roxanne. Christian has the looks, but uh, Cyrano has the actual words. He has the swag. And Roxanne is already in love with Christian, so Cyrano's like, all right, well, because I love her, I will help you not disappoint her. It is the source material of the Steve Martin film. Um, Roxanne is the source material of the recent adaptation with oh, yeah, uh, Peter Dinklage. Peter and, Dinklage. Uh, Megamind, <laughs> definitely. Megamind, there's a Roxanne and the guy who likes her is disguising to talk to her. Uh, and then um, also we said Roadside Attraction. Yes. Yeah, roadside yeah. Attraction. Or uh, my favorite is, I believe it's Futurama, I believe it's Love Labor's Lost. I think that's the In lot. Space. Yeah. Love Labor's Lost in Space. I believe is the title. I think so. But in this, instead of the so. instead of the large nose being the source of uh, Cyrus's insecurity, it's the fact that he's slightly shorter than most guys. Now, yes, the Peter Dinklage adaptation went with a significant amount shorter than most guys, but this this one was a coward and was like, ah, an inch is good. <laughs> We could call him ugly and be like, it's cut. But why didn't he just, there's a very large platform shoes in the movie and never him like, I could just wear those. Because platform <laughs> shoes are for girls. And platform shoes are for the devil. <laughs> <laughs> this is a movie with Christian values, Charlie. Mm-hmm. The main character Cyrus is played by Tyler James Williams. Uh, the titular, he was not the everybody on Everybody Hates Chris. He was the Chris. He was the Chris part. Huh? Oh. Oh, so he was the Chris that but, time, but, but our this favorite time, he's is, not Chris. Our favorite is that the dad is played by Courtney B. Vance, who later, I believe, won an award for his performance. As Johnny as... Cochran in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Johnny Cochran is a lawyer who bases his style off of um, preachers at black churches. This is prior to that series by, I believe, three years, and he plays a preacher at a, a Baptist church, so... 
did this terrible Disney Channel original movie get him th- this amazing he role? He's great in, this in drama? both that and this. I will say, I wanted we wanted him to rap so bad by the end. I, we described his performance as monocle. Puppet, yeah, yeah, yeah. The movie is about rap, and he well, is. That's the... how the, it opens with him doing the his glasses fall off. <laughs> into into his soup, which manifests whenever <laughs> well, his glasses I never. fall. He's eating soup during church. No, he wasn't. It's just whenever his glasses fall off for the for the completion of the tropes, the the molecules of the universe. You see, it looks like soup, but that's actually the wine. Oh, that's the commu- communion but, um, soup. <laughs> Tyler, yeah. do Baptists do that? Yeah. Tyler James I Williams currently is on Abbott Elementary as Greg, but like he's an actual adult now, so it was really weird when I realized it was him. But the weirder thing is that I just went to his Wikipedia page and his profile picture on wikipedia is from the the premiere of let it shine in hollywood so like and not about avid elementary which is popular and, and also presently on television that's not what he looks like anymore he's a grown-up that's a little it's boy so that's weird. not him he's not a little boy and it wasn't even that long ago boy. it was 10 years ago he's just it was not i know but that's, that's not long years time ago. Ago. he's just that's enough for a teenager to become an adult. Uh, an adult. So weird. <laughs> I watched this movie when it premiered, and it's like, oh god, now. Oh, you're so like you 30. had seen this before? You had seen all of this before? Yes. Really? I didn't know that. How oh. was it when you had first watched it, and how did it live up to your memories of it, Mary McCann? Um, I remember it being fine. Like I was fourteen in twenty twelve, so like I was starting to grow out of Disney Channel, but I would like watch it if it was on. And there was this and whole I was thing called like, Falls right, that may a... or may not have caught your attention. Yeah, I was. So I was just like, all right, well, that's a movie that exists, and it's fine. This this episode is to Tourist Trapped as Dog with a Blog is to the entire <laughs> rest of the series. Yeah, you had yeah. to watch the last five minutes of it if you wanted to. Be beyond time mm-hmm. for Gravity Falls. Honestly, you should have gotten me for a Dog with a Blog episode, because that's the one I actually do know. Well, what did you think of this, uh, Snake? <laughs> um, so, I was watching it, and like... You're gonna complain about the herpetology representation, the rattlesnake, yeah, and the Yeah, there was, <laughs> the there was some, um, misinformation about uh, reptiles that uh, really caught my eye because you see my name's Snake, so therefore mm-hmm. Snake. So, so let's talk about it. What what did this movie get wrong about reptiles in its rap lyrics? Yeah, for some reason the rap lyrics had a lot of animal references. And there's also a moment where the um the Christian character is uh trying to rap, but he's just coming up with facts about animals, and that's, like, funny Well, yeah, they have to frame it as though Christian can't rap, so the rhymes are really silly, but... And I think think we should clarify when we say the Christian character, we mean the stand-in for Christian, uh, the character named Chris, because uh, this is a Christian movie. Not to be confused with the Christian character, the character that works at a a church. But yeah, it doesn't really really work that he can't rap because a lot of the rhymes are very silly from the characters who are supposed to be good rappers. Ex- so, exactly. So what So what do they get wrong about reptiles, though? Let's talk All about right. this. Alright, so when the lyrics is like, I'm like a chameleon, I blend in or something stupid like that. Chameleons, there's only like two that use their ability to change color for that exact purpose. It's actually the, hor- the hormones? I think it's hormones. That cause basically their mood swings you can see on their skin. That's so that's the color. They're mood. They're they're, they're mood, mood ring wings. They're mood ring worms. Yeah. 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 Well, mood ring tile. Mood ring At tiles, one point they yeah. said you're like a snake without a rattle. Yeah. And you're like that doesn't make most of the, a lot of dangerous snakes don't have rattles. Yeah. Yeah. That's not really a diss, is it? Yeah. It's like you're like a python. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like, Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. You're like a cobra. Thank you. You're like a snake without a rattle. Okay, um, rattlesnakes are some of the coolest snakes because they give live birth. Uh, a lot of snakes Ooh. like eggs. Well, yeah, that's what he's saying. He's, you're not a cool snake. You're, you're one of those egg you're laying snakes. Like, he's snake. accusing him of laying eggs. <laughs> oh, so oh eggs. I get it. Yeah. Also, like, rattlesnakes' rattles can grow back. So you're, like, saying, wow, you survived an attack that ripped off your rattle. Loser. I'm not a chicken. You're a turkey. How can you say that to me? 
that's basically what the raps are in this movie. The disses. Yeah, I'm not a chicken. Uh, every time there was a scene at a club, Ray and I were waiting for the Ninja Turtles to burst in and everyone to start freestyling about ninjas, but um, it never yeah. happened, regrettably. And the dad However, about how he hates music. I feel like the ghost of Vanilla Ice's career was haunting some of this movie. Yeah. Yeah. And Millie Vanillies. Oh, yeah. It's also... The, I, hey... I got it. The whole movie is about finding out that he was lip syncing at his concerts instead of performing live. Right, because Chris is the fake. Yeah, the restraint of not making a Millie Vanilli joke, I, I actually have to applaud them for. Because they, they make a lot of pop culture references. Because they already reference Urkel, Soul Train, Revenge of the Nerds, and like he calls. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. got served. There's a sketch from Comedy Bang Bang about a teen um, drama that is written by old Jewish men. You okay? You, uh. You seem down today. Yeah, I'm just, I'm worried about my parents. I feel like I might be a financial burden on them. Why? Doesn't your dad have a 401k? <sighs> you just don't get it! And each scene, it progressively gets less and less like teens talk until the final scene. I just can't play 18 holes anymore. Okay, I get too tired. And those Chinese clubs that my son got me, they're absolute junk. <sighs> it's 5.15 and it's already too hot. This is why I wanted to retire in Arizona. Dry heat. Do you see my hand shaking? Do you think it's a tremor? That it could end up being serious. You need to get that checked out. Jeanette McCurdy is in that sketch. It is on YouTube on an iCarly fan channel, but a phone uh, posted at a TV. But it's one of my favorite Comedy Bang Bang sketches. Uh, well, and Comedy Bang Bang is on Netflix, right? Uh, no. Not anymore? Yeah. Damn. Cool. I love streaming sites. Um, Netflix said no to good television. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Comedy Bang Bang is good television, or is it just weird enough to be interesting? Um, or in between. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Ray, what did you think of this uh, film? Um, it was average. It was, it, it sure, sure was. It sure is a movie with a three act structure. Oh <laughs> Arguably. There was a bit where the four backup dancers are just straight up plagiarizing Lady Gaga's look. They're like dressed like maids and wearing Lady Gaga wigs. And we mm-hmm. joked that, that those were Lady Gaga's lawyers to deliver a subpoena the second the song was done. They have she, to dance. She makes, she makes them, them dress dance. like that. That's how they blend in. And dance. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were wearing maid outfits and then they switched to tuxedos like halfway through oh, the yeah, song. Oh yeah, there was which also a Will was Smith cool. lawyer in there because it turned into Wild Wild West. Yeah, yes, there was, a, there was a part where it cut to like a studio and a bunch of close-ups cutting ra- back and forth between wide shots with mirrors in the background and it looked exactly like... Oh, that- it probably was the best song in it. Yeah. The, the, there is a song in the middle of the movie called Don't Run Away, and it's like... Well, that it's was the probably... song that he submits, so it's at the beginning and uh, toward okay. the middle. But I, I, hearing it in the middle, I was like, oh, they had to put it in the middle because this is when the test audiences um, ran away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't run away. Come on. We'll tell you that in song form. <laughs> no, come on. Yeah, <laughs> so the about. entire... This, this, this... The mix-up that... Uh, that makes the pop star Roxy believe that uh, Cyrus's friend is actually Cyrus um, requires him to have submitted to this this songwriting contest called the Grand Slam, which is also the name of the breakfast special at Denny's. <laughs> yeah, he had to submit a photo of himself, and he submitted a photo of him and Chris, so they just assumed that because Chris was slightly taller, that he was... Yeah, he, uh, no, I would have loved if it was uh, if it was a Polaroid, and he had, like, marker, and, like, that's me! And they they still went with the other guy. A heart around Chris, and is like, BFFs! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Friendship ended with Chris. Now, uh... Roxy is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Just cross him out on the photo, yeah. Cut a picture. No, well, the problem is Ray said that <laughs> they don't have put pictures of them uh, separate because they've been dating for so many yeah, years. Yeah, they've yeah been dating. I guess that makes sense. But this makes no sense because if you're submitting a form for a contest, you're going to have to put your real name somewhere. You can't just put a stage name. No, no. The, this is this is only rap. <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't want you to have to dead name yourself. Yeah. The rap world works similarly to Zion. Or wrestling. Or uh, yeah, it's kayfabe. Yeah. There, no, I am. I am sorry. William is dead. I am Will. I am now. <laughs> how did we? How did we feel about the actual music? I, I liked that song with the Lady Gagas. I didn't remember any of the yeah, others. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, so the music was um, music slightly worse. Whatever the, than whatever they were um, copying. Which yes. means it's 
good for a Disney Channel movie from 2012. So when they were copying Lady Gaga, that was and Will Smith, that was great. And when they were copying the rap parts from Lincoln Park, it was bad. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can remember each song. We have "Don't Run no. Away," that one we remember. Well, we have the yeah. opening number that's like the Christian rap. Yes, that's true. Um, then we have Guardian Angel. I liked Angel. Guardian Angel. Oh, you remember way more than I do. I don't remember that one. No, I'm reading it off the track uh, listing. Okay. I don't remember them. We have Wait, Mean oh, yeah, You. from the soundtrack that someone bought with money. We have Mean, mean You. Oh, okay. Somebody definitely bought that with money. Paid for it. <laughs> from um, a store. <laughs> we have What I Said. That that one I liked. That's the memorable one. With okay. The, with the, I, you think I, I know like those names? You think I'm going to remember the names? We have Who I'm Gonna Be. Which was another uh, Coco Jones solo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have "You Belong to Me," which was uh, I, at some point in the movie. I imagine they saw they. Sang. You wear short shorts. I wear t-shirts. You're cheer captain. I'm on yeah, the bleachers. Say, Why like, can't you say you belong to me? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we have "Tonight's the Night," which again I imagine was in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We have Around the Block, which uh, is credited to the entire Let It Shine cast. New kids on the block. <laughs> we have Moment of Truth, uh, which, yeah. Uh, Joyful Noise. Yeah, that's a well, that's also a movie starring Dolly Parton, Queen Latifah, Kiki Palmer, uh, and Jeremy Jordan. Wait, we could have watched a movie starring Dolly Parton It's and also Queen not Latifah? a good movie. I have also uh, seen that movie. It is not good. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> they do a Christian... They do a Christian version of Yeah by Usher in that su- in that movie. So, um the 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 arc that um we were just calling the character Johnny Cochran goes through is that he learns to realize that um rap can be Christian. Um and he doesn't rap in the last scene Which is after a shame. Shame. It's a real shame. And we it I it's like we would have I would have gone as far as to say it was a pretty good film if it ended with Courtney B. <laughs> Fits. Yeah, yeah. Rapping. Let's see, the rest, uh, the last three are Good to Be Home, Let It Shine, which, again, yeah, that's the existing uh, song, and no. Whoa, Self-Defeat. that was a song in the movie? Uh, but I only remember what I said. That was the only good one. I, 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 liked, that I one. liked Good to Be Home. That sounded like it could have been a pre-existing song. I don't remember it. That's the, no, I, I think that's remember. the one that Roxy's singing mm. in the church right before she's publicly anything. shamed by the pastor. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we yeah. want to tell you that they wa- they're they regularly walking. Uh, it's probably like a back lot, so like a fake street. So they are always walking past the same exact businesses every well, time they're Well, because they're outside. always coming from that club. Uh, including Dr. Cod's Fish and Chips. And... Frozen Lorenzo's treats. I think it's Lorenzo's frozen treats. No, it is not. It is, it is not. Frozen Lorenzo's treats. That is how it is. No, because logos do that if side. it's in smaller so, print, then you're like reading that after. And if the the big print in the middle, that's the first Well, one. then it's a bad design. I but I don't have to read it the way the logo does it. I have to read it the way it makes sense to my eyes. And his name is Frozen Lorenzo. Because uh wasn't this a year before Frozen came out? So yes. The trailer might have been out by now. No, it, the, the, the trailer, trailer came his... out very late. I remember oh. I was in the pre fandom. Well, he heard he heard the news. Yeah, the about movie's it, been in development he, for seventy years. So yeah, I, yeah, I knew so about, about that. So hyped about it that he legally changed his name to Frozen Lorenzo. I'm so excited for this movie. I'm a Frozen Lorenzo now. I'm a Frozen <laughs> Lorenzo. Oh, <laughs> the concept art and got this, so excited. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it go. That's his. That's his. Part that's his the end When Frozen Lorenzo comes in. <laughs> so, do, would you ra- do you want to go eat it? Dr. Cod's first, and then for dessert, go to Frozen Lorenzo's? Um, I mean, I'll have the chips, I won't have the fish. I'll have the fish mm. for you. Okay. We have a theory that um, Big Mouth Billy Bass didn't actually die, he faked his death yeah. so he could go to medical school. And The fame was just so stifling for him. And start selling fish and chips as a, as a doctor of potatoes and dead fish. Yeah, because he knows a lot about that. That's how he was able to fake his death so convincingly. Yeah, he's a doctor. He has a PhD, and all the patients that sadly couldn't make it, well, they just end up on the menu. I would love a medical drama starring Dr. Dre and Dr. Cod. I like Nicole Sullivan. Nicole Sullivan's in this. Uh, I don't know why. Nicole Sullivan, for those who don't know, is the voice of Joan on Clone High, Shigo on Kim Possible, and Mira Nova. Mira Nova in Buzz Lightyear. Well, Command. it sounds like she was in a lot of Disney stuff. So yeah, but in a lot of good Disney. Yeah, like Buzz yeah Lightyear but like as Star far as Command. live action stuff, she's in a lot of things that aren't very good. Yeah, and she was probably in Clone High because Clone High was 
made entirely at the mental abandoned mental hospital within the filming location for Scrubs. And it feels like a show made in an abandoned mental hospital. Yeah. Oh, yeah, as well as Meet the Robinsons she was in. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost everyone in Clone High is also in Scrubs because it's the same workplace. So it could just be like, hey, can you uh, just come over to the mental ho-? Like, that's why Michael J. Fox has one line in the first episode as Gandhi's kidney saying, I miss him. What? <laughs> Good. I did not yeah, know that. Yeah, that's Michael J. Fox, <laughs> okay. because Michael J. Fox was guest starring on Scrubs, which meant he was in the hospital. They're like, can you come in here for a bit and just say, I miss him? We'll pay you. We'll pay you. And we'll Charlie try to- <laughs> just knows everything about the production of everything that's ever been produced. Because it's not, good. not let it shine, and I don't care to learn. Not what? Not let it shine, and I don't care to learn. Oh, uh, yeah. You've heard, you, Ella's like, let it shine. I've never heard of that, even though she just watched it. That's how good this movie is. Yeah. I remember wondering how they got Tyler James Williams just because, like, he was the star of a huge sitcom not on the Disney Channel, and he was not a Disney Channel star. His brother was on some Disney stuff, but, like... But now he's on ABC, baby! <laughs> Cause, well, oh, that's still Disney. Uh-oh. He can't escape Disney it. won't let him go. Free him! He can't escape the mouse. He's a Disney adult. He's <laughs> After Let It Shine, he was trying to drive home, and Mickey Mouse closes the car door and goes, you're not going anywhere, buddy, and starts carting him off to ABC, and he goes, no, no! Well, no, it's like the end of Nightmare on Elm Street. Mickey Mouse, tur- the, the, the car turns into Mickey Mouse <laughs> and drives off. Um, so he gets insultingly called Urkel uh, in this film, and apparently in 2014 on Key and PL he played Jaleel White, which... Did I do that? <laughs> Jaleel. Jaleel. There is no Jaleel. Only Steve. It's always been Steve. No, 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 no! Steve, uh, I'll do anything! You will do what I want on Family Matters. <laughs> and, yes. Oh, of course, Steve. And uh, also, we uh, Snake and I really want to edit the church ladies sketches from um, Key and Peele yes. into every church scene. <laughs> Esther, you know that I love all things that are good and holy. But if he doesn't let go of my grandniece Grace, I'm going to cut the devil's yeah. off and shove it in his... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you will, Georgina. I know you will. I think the dad would be would be down with that. Yeah, he, yeah. he would. Character. He would join them. He would help. All right, ladies, let's humiliate some teenagers. I was gonna say when he's not publicly humiliating children in front of the entire community, which he does, and he apologizes for it. He doesn't promise to not do it again because because then know. he does do it again. In this, in he does, he loves it. Is the thing he'll apologize. He doesn't do it in a sermon. Yeah, he doesn't learn right. to appreciate all music. He just learns that rap can also be yes, Christian. No, yeah, he's still going to talk about metal the way he always has. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but until he's gonna, he finds out about. He's still going to talk metal. about the other rappers that way. <laughs> Christian metal. Just and uh, like a- we all we said that every single song sounds like a SoundCloud rapper, and every single song should have ended with "Check out my SoundCloud." In the very same scene where he apologizes. To the team that he humiliated, he humiliates his son in front of more people. Well, it's for a different thing. <laughs> yeah, no, Ella. He didn't apologize for this one, so he's allowed to. He hadn't done it yet. So he <laughs> Yeah, he that's how it works, Ella. You're supposed to commit sins and then go to because confessional. If you that's don't commit sins, life. Jesus died for nothing. That's true, actually. Yeah, yeah, Ella. Ella, do you want to make Jesus' death in vain? You know what? You're right. With a subject we talk about while talking about Disney Channel original movies. Well, they they kind of set that up for us with this one. <laughs> I want to talk about a line in, like, the second act after the dad finds out that his son is a busboy at this club he doesn't like. Yeah. He's like... He's like, I don't care if Jesus himself appeared to you and told you to get that job. He was testing you and you failed. And I'm like, no, I grew up Catholic and I'm pretty sure if, like, we were pretty much told, like, if Jesus literally appears to you and tells you to do no. something, well, you should okay. do well, it. Well, that's the difference is that is that in, in the Baptist religion, Jesus is a trickster god who's <laughs> always like, ah, there's a buzzer in my hand. You fell for it. I don't know enough about the Baptist sect to confirm or deny that. Am I going to have to... Is Jesus my gender now? 
Okay, okay, you constantly talk about the scene where Loki says he goes by other names and gestures to Bill Cipher. Jesus is sitting right yeah, next yeah, to him. That's yeah, true. Yeah, I know. So, that, but that makes me... That, that means I have to kin Bill Cipher too, though. I, you always have. Don't lie to us. Come on. We've known you a bit. Yeah, when I was when I was first in the fandom and a little younger and an idiot, I actually yeah. And now you can G- now you tell people my name's Jesus. And I'm here to say you can call me that or your Lord. My name is Jesus. That describes this entire God, movie. God, we were okay. Can we? Can if anyone in the listening uh, can get us in touch with Courtney V. Vance, um, we'd like to commission. Oh, I thought you were going to say get us in touch with Jesus. <laughs> if anyone can, can get us in touch with Jesus with or Courtney V. Vance, we have we have the collab of the century. Yeah, <laughs> a collab between yeah. Courtney V. Vance it, and Jesus. Courtney B. Vance featuring Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ. H. Christ, Yeshua of Nazareth. <laughs> so, well, what's his rapper name though? Uh, Lil Jeezy. J J J Lord. J Lord. Oh, I, J Lord was good. I was gonna go with Yeshi, <laughs> short for Yeshua. Jesus. Jesus. Just Jesus mononym, all caps. But speaking of polytheistic, uh, do you think that all three of them should have gotten together at the end? Yeah. Yeah. We are we are too we we are all too queer to even understand love triangles. It's like if you both like the girl, then you what? Yeah, I don't I, I don't get it. Why does Chris, yeah. the larger friend, not simply eat the smaller one? Well, I don't know if I don't know how many of you have seen the Peter Dinklage here. No, that is what happens in it. Really? Yeah. Seriously? No. no. Are you in kidding? <laughs> you sounded so serious. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, I was Peter Jenkins I was just... get eaten? Yeah, in Cyrano, they actually do <laughs> eat each eats other eats at the end, Mary said. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I was... That does, that does happen in the Futurama <laughs> That's version. true. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he slices off Fry's arm, right? Yeah. And like, ah! I think Billy West screamed like, probably. Huh. So, yeah, I didn't understand, like... And I also didn't really, I could not tell if Cyrus was already in love with Roxy or if he fell in love with her over the course of it. Because he, like, r- knew her from third grade and made that very clear throughout. That well, he, knew he wrote her from a song, third he wrote a song about how much he liked her, so I think he already, I think yeah, he had some lingering the, feelings yeah, I wrote third songs grade. about how much I liked everyone in third grade, so that's nothing to go no, off of. No, the song he submitted to the contest yeah. was about her. But also, he didn't. Mm, but I've also written songs about yeah, Elle. about her and her dead mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a dead mom, Ella? I have one mom who is alive, but how do you know I don't have other moms who are dead? You know, I feel that I feel that every mom is kind of a, a vessel for the moms who came before them. That's true. Yeah. No, they're a vessel for the moms that come after them. That's why they're oh, moms. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're the right. The whole womb thing. Yeah. I remember. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot how sometimes. Childbirth works. Which order time goes in. Um. <laughs> He does fall in love with her more, I guess, because, like, he gets to know her, and they, they realize that they both like music, I guess. Yeah, because they they... at the beginning, he's talking about how he wants a girl with they substance, yeah, I... but she's that girl. Hey, wait, is this a year after Megamind? Two it's years. two years. No. Two years. Okay, Megamind so that means... Megamind like 2009. 2010. So, oh. so this is two years after Megamind. So honestly, my review is until they add, until they add in the Courtney B. Vance rap that I'm sure they shot into Disney Plus. Just watch Megamind. But they don't like they don't bond over anything in particular. They just bond over the fact that they like no, all music. No. Like there's no specific genre all that they bond over. Or... And also, she has a dead mom. No, there's a specific line when they're like dating, like. I kind of dating, hanging out together, where uh, I think it's Roxanne. She says it. She's like, I like all great artists. Like, they don't even cool. specify. So she has no taste I, uh, and, at and, all. And Cyrus like, literally at one point says, it's not that she has bad just, taste. It'll be just like the Beatles. <laughs> and and then Chris uh, has never heard of the Beatles. Because he's from the yesterday verse. He's from the yesterday verse. And they don't really touch on that, which I think is good, because when you bring in the universe travel on top of the whole Courtney V. Bance not rapping thing, it's yeah. just confusing. Yeah. Sh- yeah. That really was the most confusing. It would have been, it would, they would have stuck the last. They should have met an alternate universe where Courtney V. Vance's character is a rapper, so he has to confront, like, that, his, 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 uh, prejudices against his rap. Past oh, I want, I want. Oh, his past trauma. He was a gangster rapper and hated talking about his trauma. So he became a preacher. It's the cycle of of abuse. Uh, Seeing his son rap reminds him of the terrible neighborhood that he grew up in. And he's like, you don't need to do that. I made a better life for you. And he goes, it's art, Dad. What you engaged in was art. You used it to cope. I think we just wrote a better version of this movie. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 
<laughs> so was he like a we Coach sure Z did. type before? How to build a better movie. I mean, that's how people rapped in the 80s and 90s. So he will. There's. Have you ever heard Donald Glover's impression of old school? Uh, Donald Glover actually hates old school rap. And he says it all sounds exactly like this. I went to the hat store today and I bought myself a hat. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, that is that is how it sounds. But that's also it seems to be the frame of reference that most of the songwriting in this is there's, pulling there's, from. There's some that sound like like uh, like we compared the rival's um, style to Kanye. But... um. Yeah, that's true. The, yeah. There's also a lot of uh, hat stores. There's a lot of hat store <laughs> songs. in here. Yeah. Same hat. And also everyone's wearing the same hat. They do have same hat. The fedoras of this movie run oh, red. Yeah. Yeah, the rivers were... run yeah. red they... with... Anytime Coco Jones is on screen, it's like, okay, you bought that entire outfit at Justice five minutes before you filmed. And I love that mm-hmm. for her. It's like, it's like they looked up, just quickly Googled who are the top five artists now quickly found pictures of them and just gave them the costume, gave a picture of, of Bruno Mars and Lady Gaga to the costume department and said, I don't know, do something with this. Chris is is dressed like Marty McFly in some parts. Right before the scene where Chris is wearing an orange down vest that looks like a life preserver, Cyrus is asleep upside down with his butt up, um, leaning on his face. His alarm goes off and he realizes he's late for school. <laughs> but that's the power of love. Yeah, that um, they were foreshadowing Gravity Falls. The down oh, vest, yeah, because yes. mm, yeah, yes, and there was a lot yes. of flannel too. There was a lot. There was a lot of foreshadowing. They were very clear to to you know because people were here to watch Gravity Falls. I hope and not to watch <laughs> this. Uh, they were probably waiting for it to be over or for wa- waiting for Courtney B. Vance to rap, whichever came first. Unfortunately, or they were watching the new episode of Good Luck Charlie that was on before, and then they couldn't find the remote. And they refuse yeah. to stand up. Oh, thank you, by the way. Thank you for saying Why that. Why is that? Yeah. Oh, the good luck, yeah. I'll need it. Well, I was giving that luck to uh, the Charlie that ends in IE. I'm sorry, that was... Oh, oh, well, yeah. screw you then. Although, apparently, uh, on June 30th, the rap battle edition of Let It Shine aired. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it's got sing-along lyrics, rap-along lyrics? No, no, the rap battle edition is the one where the actors come to your house to watch it with you and hit you with things. Oh, they hit you with... with... <laughs> no, that's yeah. the one, that's the version where Courtney B. Vance oh. raps. Oh, oh, we should have watched that it's one. Not on it it's Disney not Plus? on Disney Plus, they're keeping it from <laughs> us. Not. Oh, oh, god damn it. Oh. Okay, Courtney, Courtney, I know you love the podcast. I know you've podcast. been listening. Uh, big fans, People vs. OJ is literally one of our favorite shows. Mm. Rap, rap for us, Courtney. Can we get you? Uh, can we get you on for our our final episode? We're doing uh, over the garden wall in October. You want to do a rap cover of one of the songs for one of us? We'll, 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 we'll. Yeah, our people will call your people. I know you're probably really busy with other Gravity Falls podcasts. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Jo- that other movie, Joyful Noise. Yes, Courtney B. Vance is also in that. <laughs> oh my God! As the pastor. No. So okay, wait. Tell us. So. So tell us about Joyful Noise, Ella. Joyful Noise is a 2012, another 2012 American musical comedy drama film, and it stars, or I don't know if he's one of the main characters, Courtney B. Vance is in it as Pastor Dale. So this is just something he did in 2012. Is it Cyrano? No. Because you said it was it's, similar. It's just these, I told, that's the one with Dolly Parton. And, and... <laughs> Because this also came out around the same time as Rags, which also stars Kiki Palmer. Yeah, the C also for Let It Shine lists Joyful Noise and Rags, and the C also for Joyful Noise lists Let It Shine. So what is Rags about? Rags is- uh, it's, like a, um, it's like a gender flip Cinderella. C- no, it's a, cin- it's a Cinderfella. Cinderfella! Yeah. But Wikipedia is trying to start some drama between these two ch- kids' networks, because it says Rags is a similar movie released on May 28th, 2012 by Nickelodeon. High School Musical blew up, Miley Cyrus was everywhere- so Nickelodeon's entire brand at this period was throwing pot shots at Disney. You're right. So how many uh, way too on the nose lines about truth were there? Because the rapper name that Cyrus has is Truth. Eighty seven. My favorite was that um they they tried to the the what was the bad guy's name? Uh, Lo- Lord, Lord of the Bling. Bling Bling Boy. Yeah, it was Bling Bling Boy. That sounds so. Right. Lord of the Bling. Uh, Lord of the Blings. Lord of the Blings says, "Are you Truth?" Or Baby Ruth, to call him a baby. Um, But also it's the name of a chocolate bar that old people eat because it's just peanuts and chocolate and and no other ingredients. And also it makes no sense as an insult. No, no. It was written by And I had to explain to them that he was was being called a baby because everyone else was like, wait, why was that a diss? Are you truth? 
Or are you baby Ruth? Are you truth or are you uncouth? Do you want to talk about the one representation for white rappers in this movie? Uh, oh, Phantom? I want, I'm, I'm always ready to talk about things that have Phantom in the name. Wikipedia says that Hans Daniels plays Phantom, a rapper who is defeated in a rap battle by Revelation, another rapper in this film. By the Bible. So Yeah, our, Revelations. Our... They just got have, they have uh, Revelations in this. Yeah, so our headcanon is that while everything else is going on, um, Phantom has this romance with this girl named Christina, uh, underneath the club. That's kind of, but he gets his face horribly scarred. No, it's also Chris. I was going to say, unless Chris is doing double duty here as Christian and Christine. Cause he's flirting with all these girls. How do we know he's not flirting with other boys? Yeah, you're right. He's both Christian from Cyrano and Christine from Christine. Phantom. But yeah, my headcanon is that as soon as Phantom lost that rap battle, he walked off and got horribly disfigured somehow. Ran over by a bus. They should have had us do punch-ups. They should have brought me in when I was 13 when they were writing this movie so I Listen, could- Listen, <laughs> when they were writing this, I was I was an adult. There have pe- been people who have worked- uh, I was- uh, How old was I? I yeah. was 19. Ray was 20. We could have- we got a field with yeah. this. Well, you, I want to have. I want to put your your limo joke yeah. in there. Oh yeah. So we there's a part where a limo drives up and then it just finishes driving up and I was like, oh, I was really hoping it would be like the first shot of Spaceballs where it just won't stop going. And then Snake said, and then they cut to another shot where it pulls away and it's a normal limo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but really okay. I, and they don't it's a stretch that. limo because they need to emphasize the fact that Roxy is a famous person. So she gets driven around in a stretch limo, even she though is. it's for one person. It's for like her and her manager, so two people. So just get a regular they limo. Also... Imagine them sitting at opposite ends of this car. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. They show the giant limo, and then they're like, So I'm wondering why you brought me here. What? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like. The the scenes in Our Flags Be Deaf when Steed's with his family and the table. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah the table, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Well, everyone's wearing pastels no, constantly. I was about to make the joke that Roxy dresses like she's modeling for a new line of Claire's. Yeah. All the time. And that's yeah. also how you know she's The famous. feather earrings That's how you so know she's in a Disney Channel original movie. Yeah, the 2012. I got like three pairs of feather earrings from my sister as a hand me down. The costume designer was an alien who had received fuzzy uh, images of 2012 fashion through lost, nearly lost radio signals. Uh, That's right. (laughs) There was um one time when I was in high school in one class, there was this guy. He he was talking about some teacher, someone who worked at the school. I didn't know him, but what he said was he dresses like a fruit. I don't mean like a homosexual. I mean like an actual fruit. Like an actual fruit. <laughs> and that describes every single outfit. They There's were, one point they where are so fruity. Who, who was just straight up wearing the trans flag on a polo shirt? That was Chris. The finale, Chris, they're the all end. wear the, the opening, they're all wearing pink and green. Pastel pink and green. That's because Cosmo and Wanda were hiding in their clothes. They think they're so slick. It so, disgusts me. But Charlie, you literally said you wanted to eat the dress that she was wearing. Oh, at yeah, the it end looked delicious. It looks like a it, fruit. It, it looks like like, uh, like sprinkles or Dippin' Dots or like yeah. yeah. They're all they're all made of cake. Is the final plot twist? Yeah, that's yeah. why she's been like, okay, like I know that. you you had to come through and say that you that you were lying to me about who truth was on stage and, well, yeah, and, then, the she, and then she too. takes out a she takes out a serving knife and takes it to her arm and he stop and he like looks away for a second she goes no it's fine look I have a confession too. <laughs> well, I'm the, you know, the, plot, the final plot knife. twist is actually is actually everyone other than uh, Vance were cake and he raps the final song to, at where he learns because cake can't rap. yeah. <laughs> I love that he. I love that they yeah. have the confrontation during the performance, and like the lyrics just match exactly what's going on, and the audience is none the wiser. Free, I, 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 I yeah, want to say were they, they were freestyling, freestyling their conversation, so. yeah. and the audience just thought it was a drama, much like Vanilla Ice was supposed to be in Secret of the Ooze. You see, it's a very Secret of the Oozian film. Does anyone have anything else they could possibly say about this film? I have no idea. <laughs> Not about the film, but I still think everybody should pre-order Princess Night. <laughs> um, it's unfortunately not coming out on my birthday anymore. It got delayed no. to August. Oh! I Co- know. First, first, Courtney B. Vance doesn't 
sing the final rap at the end, which should have been I Hate Music. Uh, I think it's the worst from Ninja Turtles Coming Out of Our Shell, uh, the famous rap by Oroko the Shredder Saki. But he learned better than that now. He knows. I know. He, he should have he... sang that at the beginning. That should have been his villain song before his yeah. kiss. Yeah. And then, and then yeah. he sings a reprise called I Love Music. I, think I it's love the best. music. It yeah. could be Christian. Okay, I got two things. <laughs> yeah. One, uh, when he's like bussing tables at the club in the beginning uh, while there's a rap battle going on, he's just like rapping to himself, but apparently it's it's diegetic, like he's really doing it. It's not like, oh, it's a musical, so this character is singing. Oh, no, it's the only, oh, yeah, it's the only non-diegetic l- l- lyric. It's not even, the whole song is diegetic, except for that l- yeah. part. And the rest of the music is all diegetic. Or he's just mumbling. He's just doing some or mumble he, rap. Or he is yeah. rapping while someone else is on stage, and they're like, hey, can you... S- Hey, we actually are doing our song now. Hey, who, who gave that guy yeah. a lav mic? Why can we hear him through the speakers? <laughs> He's stu- Well, he works there. His dad finds out he works at a rap club when his dad is talking to him. And during this conversation, his manager interrupts him and asks him to clean. So we're like, why was it that big an emergency? Says, hey, I need you to get to work. That's what he says. We have determined that the manager is making these messes on purpose. <laughs> he's vomiting on tables because he keeps drinking milk, even though he's not just intolerant. Because this is the bar from Buffy. <laughs> yeah. This is the bar from Buffy. This is a club for where, minors, uh, so they can only where, serve milk. Yeah, in the in Buffy, um, the bronze is the club they hang out at at high school and drink, like, sodas and water and stuff. And then the club does not start serving alcohol until every character is 21 and that's just something that's subtly happening in the background and ray noticed it so i asked uh allison pregler is a bigger expert like hey are do they serve alcohol or not and she goes it just depends on the age of the main characters every buffy <laughs> fan knows <Yeah>. this <laughs> and they said we actually do serve minors here the minor was like woo we <laughs> I'm going to go But as long here. as there is one minor here, all of the alcohol gets moved to the back room. The, the egg, damn it. Be safe here. No, it was like the business where they opened up the bar for minors, but they couldn't. Oh, no, that was that was Nathan for, yeah. Nathan when for when Nathan you. Fielder <laughs> opens up a, a liquor store that can sell alcohol to minors, provided they bring back their claim check on their 21st birthday so they can leave the store with it or open it. <laughs> the recording studio that they go to to re to record like a cleaner version of the song he submitted, it's just called Recording Studios. Like it doesn't yeah. even it doesn't even look like there's anything else on the sign. Like you can tell there's it's enough space that it's like studios? no, this place is just called Recording Studios. The way they they got that big as a recording studio was by naming themselves that. Every other recording studio was then in violation of copyright infringement, <laughs> and yeah. then they also sued. that way when you Google recording studio, it's just them. You have to go to Atlanta in order to record anything. And when everyone's a recording studio... No one will be. There's a scene where the woman who says that her favorite music is all music says, I am going to a jazz museum, which either means there are so many jazz museums in Atlanta that she does not find it useful to distinguish which one she's going to. Or she doesn't know which one she's going to yet. Or she doesn't know which one she's going to. Or she didn't know that there were jazz museums. Or that she's going to one nowhere near Atlanta. Or the only... Because normally, if you live in the same city as someone, you would say, I'm going to the jazz yeah. museum. Yeah. But I like the idea that she's like, I'm going to this thing called a jazz museum. I'm going to this thing... Have you seen I, this? I, I love jazz. Is that someone's also, name? apparently, there are these things called... Museums. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, wow, that's so Well, yeah, they're named after the Greek muses. You should know this because you're big into muses. What is it that the characters in the romantic relationships like about each other as people? Does anyone, did anyone I catch don't that? Know. They both I don't know. like music, Charlie. And that's music. similarly, that's how his parents met. They both hate music. Yeah. So, uh, what song do you want to play at our wedding? No song. Oh, sweetie. I knew you were the one where you smashed up your car radio on our first date. It's it's a bit of a footloose. And... Oh, you, you see, the problem is that much like Chris traveled here from the Yesterday universe, um, the dad is here from the Footloose universe. <laughs> oh, He's Mr. Okay. Footloose. <laughs> He's Mr. Footloose himself. <laughs> Mr. Footloose himself. <laughs> Footloose I know this is one of the. I mean, like they say that at, it, this was 2012 when um, Joss Whedon's The Avengers came out, and everyone calls that an ambitious crossover. But uh, it's a ve- this is much more ambitious. Yeah. yeah, we're talking Cyrano de Bergerac, 
the genre of hip hop. Rags. Things illegally stolen from Lady Gaga. What about the Let It Chill, uh, the Be More Chill, Let It Shine crossover called Let It Chill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is largely about food being too warm to eat. <laughs> it's worrying about salmonella, right? And that's where all the reptile references come in. Oh! Part of the dad's arc is that, like, he's learning that he doesn't have to be, like, super stringent Christian about everything. You know, it, it only comes through specifically when he's talking about rap. But, like, he, like, he like humiliates Roxy because she's what she's wearing sequins or something. And um, at the end of the movie... Well, the thing is, Jesus hates sequins. Yeah, that's true. Just yeah. personally. It's not even a religious thing. But at the end, but at the end of the movie, um, when she, like, starts dressing, like, her real self and she stops going by what her manager's telling her to wear, she's just wearing, like, a church dress and a cardigan. So it's like she just needed to be more natural. Her dress at the very end it is, like, I think it's kind of a combination of, like, what she was wearing the whole time and, like, the very conservative thing. Because it's still, like, brightly colored. She's still wearing makeup. And also, Chris uh, becomes Christian and that's the end of his character arc. That's how you know he's uh, oh, redeemed himself. So, well, that's, that's, that's the that's the basis character's name, so it's glad oh, that they made true. that clear at the end. Yeah. She wants a church girl who goes to church. And read her Bible. And, and we also <laughs> made the joke that the reason she's always wearing hot pink is because Chris is not very smart and needs help <laughs> figuring out. Right. People told him he, he was supposed to be girl. straight and he just can't figure out gender. Yeah. <laughs> I do have one more tidbit about this film. Uh, in a September 2020 video posted to YouTube, Coco Jones revealed a sequel film had been written but was eventually scrapped. So, like, Which was about the dad's it was the It was a spin-off <laughs> film about the dad. That's what we decided. If you want to find us talking about every single episode of Gravity Falls and... Too bad. <laughs> not... Well, no. No, not too bad. Those, Those are exist all available. Now. Yeah. On PipeDreamPodcasts.com, where you can find other shows like Escape from Vault Disney, How Did This Not Get Made? Come on for Hookabye! And uh, those shows, I don't think I've ever talked about this particular Disney Channel original movie. Uh, while you're on PipeDreamPodcast.com, you can find a link to our show's social media's Discord server and our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mystery Shack. Uh, $3 will get you a shout out at the end of episodes. $5 will get you into viewing parties for whatever we're talking about this week, although we're probably just going to watch Megamind instead of this. Uh, $40 will get you either a voice commission from Charlie or an art commission from me. Uh, you can also go to our merch store at crowdmade.com slash collections slash mystery shack look back, though we do not have any, uh, red down vests, so you, you unfortunately cannot perfect your Marty McFly cosplay through oh, this site. do you have any cupcake necklaces? I would love one. I would love one. Why the, why do we not sell cupcake necklaces? Well, we're probably, we probably should. Contact us at Mystery Shag Look Back if for whatever reason you find it worth your time to talk about your experiences watching Let It Shine. I... I would advise against that. You could also, like, go for a walk or something yeah. or, or drink some water. Might you be could a watch better Roxanne use time. starring Steve Martin. Well, I like Roxanne, sir. And if you want to you, if you want to send us your review of uh, Roxanne or, or Megamind, you could contact us at mysteryshackbookback at gmail.com. Or if you want to recommend um, a Cyrano clone that fits Ella's vibe perfectly that will become her new favorite film that's appropriate if you wanna, on this if you're like somehow a bigger Tezuka fan than me and you want to bring up that Cyrano adaptation he did or reference or whatever that I totally forgot about because <laughs> it probably exists somewhere considering how much he referenced now, classic wait, wit all the time here's an interesting <laughs> here's an interesting question my question is in the late 1800s Pinocchio and Cyrano came out in Europe at the same time so what was going on with noses then oh wait nope I know wait I, I pieced it together. Oops. Well, also, yeah, like, don't... you know, puppets, I guess. It's kind of about puppetry. Yeah! Okay. Sort of. It's it's. You know what I completely forgot to mention the entire time we were talking about the movie? Chloe and Halle Bailey are featured extras in this. Their characters don't even have names. They're just there. And it was Amazing. blowing my mind. <laughs> For the record, there is a scene in Phantom of the Paradise where Winslow sings and... Swan manipulates the synthesizer so it comes out in Swan's voice. So I'm counting it as a Cyrano adaptation. <laughs> um, thank you to Brian Brian for making the instrumental to our theme song. <laughs> Ain't no Hall of Conspiracies today. Get out of here. And Adam, thanks for letting our tongues not shine. <laughs> they did not glisten with any spit. I was just, I was just worried you wouldn't understand the fork tongue style. No, no, Spittleman works with all kinds of tongues. So... Snake, I met because uh, we used to do real-time fandom, and, and Snake was an admin of that uh, Discord. 
And because th- that was Snake's upbringing, Snake actually has a fan-made one uh, up on their YouTube. So if you want to, if you're impatient, because the trailer just dropped for Snap Cubes, Shadow the Hedgehog dub, uh, you don't have to wait. Ray! Yai! Go- Yai! Go for it. What do you, what do you want to plug? Princess Knight. Got it. Mary! <laughs> yeah! Where can people find you? <laughs> You're not going to believe this, guys, but I also have a Gravity Falls podcast. What? It's called Into the Falls. When do you intend to talk about Dog with a Blog or Let It Shine? Um, you know what? I would have to, I'd have to take that up with AJ and get back to you on it. But yeah, I uh, host it. How can a- AJ's never seen Let It Shine? Not that I'm aware of. We've only talked about one Dog with a blog episode we could actually do a second episode of dog with a pod but on your we podcast could, we could let's do it ours. let's do it into the yeah yes. into the blog. much let's like go. much like uh after childbirth my body has made me forget the pain of watching it so that now i only have good memories of watching <laughs> let me tell you about into the falls though yeah i host it with my friend aj sanchez who has never seen gravity falls i have i've been in the fandom for like 10 years you have uh so we're get we're getting his views on it uh you can find me on twitter at mabel page pod that's Mabel P A G E Pines. That's also my Instagram. And you can find me on WordPress at filmknife.wordpress.com. That's where I write about film. You're also with in the, the Gravity Falls 10 Years Later zine, right? The, I the... am. Why didn't I think to mention that? I'm in the Gravity Falls 10 Years Later zine. Pre orders are now open. Okay, so if you hear anything that isn't Courtney B. Vance rapping after this, then I have failed as a producer to get in touch with her. I hate music! Hey, YouTube Ford. Uh, hello, Table Read Stan. Care to explain what you're doing in my lab? Well, I, uh, charged a bunch of people, uh, a lot of money just to say their names. Ha! <laughs> Suckers. Anyway, there's a lot of them, and I don't feel like, uh, you know, reading them all myself. Uh, you wanna do some? I have many moral objections to this, but you've tempted me with an organized list. Thank you, too. Daddy Driftwood. And Daddy Buttons. Friendly Local Geek. Fun Boringness. Hugh Salinas. Juno Series, I guess it's pronounced. Liz Clark. Uh, David, oh boy, okay. G- uh, guns? Guns? Gansel? 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 You got it, yes, Gansel. Aren't you Mr. Fancy? I was voted Mr. Fancy five years running! I uh, don't remind me, I remember. Richard Scanland. Jamie Belts. I want to belt a couple of... Shots of whiskey after this list. Uh, go ahead. Ryan Faber. Uh, Stephen Patrick Mulholland. Oh, Mulholland Drive. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. It's a good film. Gwen Prime. Junior Bruh. Joseph Jones. Olive Pluto. O- Olive Ver. There's an R there, Stan. Oh, Oliver Pluto. I'm sorry. I was distracted by the the, the, the object that's no longer a planet at the end. Kuiper object. That's the term. Whatever for <laughs> That was your thing, not mine. Oliver Pluto. Petey Piranha Plant. Uh, Elizabeth Neuenfeldt. Mumpleteen D. Wumpleteen. <laughs> oh boy, these kids these days. A uh, Vanillin Sucker. Zucker, not sucker. Whatever, they, he's a sucker. He might be a zucker, but he's also a sucker. Vanillin... Vanilla Zucker. Roe Davis. Adam with two A's, a D, and an M. Delphine... Dussy. Uh, May? Just May. Jesse Marie McDougal. B. Calisota. Rich Rawl. Easy Snake Oven. Samantha Angley. And Spencer Neil Campbell. Uh, Stan, what are all these patrons paying for anyway? Oh, you know, just the essentials. This brown meat doesn't buy itself. Nor does Fully Clothed Women magazine, evidently. Hey, keep your hands off that. Help me stock up for the apocalypse at patreon.com slash mystery shack.